All right, I got to take a break, and then Rodney's coming in. <laughs> we'll talk chicks with Rodney. He just married a young one. Oh, boy. Well, maybe he knows about the shaving habits of those girls. And Ronnie won a pile of dough, remember? We haven't even talked to him about that. That's this. right, from uh, one of those Las Vegas hotels. He went into some steam room. They burned his eyes or something. I remember reading Ronnie that. was out of commission. Ronnie's also made some of the best comedies. He's made a new movie. Called Meet Wally Spark. Yeah. And, uh... It's been a long time since Ronnie has been in the movie. Yep. Yeah. He, he takes time between projects. <laughs> we'll uh, be back right after these words. More to come when the Howard Stern Show returns in a moment. The Howard Stern Show. All right. Hey, can't wait to meet Rodney. A huge fan of Rodney Dangerfield. I think the guy's an uh, incredible talent. And Rodney uh, has always been very nice to me, quite frankly. Yes, yeah, oh. uh, appreciate your talent. Yeah, I'm going to tell you all about that. But uh, why don't we uh, see? Why don't we meet Wally Sparks, Rodney Dangerfield, right now? Yeah. Hey, what is that? That sounds good. Skinny Puppy. Skinny Puppy. I have to buy that album, based on that little clip. And here's the man himself, Rodney Dangerfield. Look at you, beautiful. You're a sight for sore eyes. I'll tell you that, my friend. Rodney Beautiful. got dressed for the show. Hey, Rodney, you got dressed for the show. All right. <laughs> he got all dressed up. I admire a man. I admire a man who dresses well. We'll give Rodney a second to sit down. Rodney, we're on TV too, in case someone tells you. TV too. Yeah. All right. I do a lot of television work. Last week I fixed four sets. <laughs> Rodney, let me just look at you for a second. Don't yeah. you don't have to say anything. Let me look at you. You're a legend to me. You're a legend to me. I yeah. gotta look you over. I gotta I gotta look at you. God bless you. I'm a legend. This is what a legend looks like. Yeah, I can't believe that's what a legend looks I like. Can't believe it. <laughs> I think a legend would have dressed up a little. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah. you look fantastic. Did you have any face well, work done? Early, I'll tell you that, boy. The only time I get up this early is when there's sex involved. Right. <laughs> Did you did you have any face work done? I mean, you look younger than ever. No face work at all. Really, you didn't uh, you didn't go get, go Hollywood on us. I didn't us. do nothing. I no didn't, skin I didn't, peels. I didn't go Hollywood. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't. You didn't get a skin peel. You didn't no, get anything nothing, like this. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing like this. Nothing. That's the way I am. And uh, you know, you're an amazing man because you have the vitality of a of a of a twenty year old. I really mean this. Rodney well, still masturbates twice a day. Uh, Is that you true? Know that. You know about that. I heard. I read a book. So I've I, increased it since then. You really? Know? You've increased it? You should know who I think of. <laughs> who would that be? Oh, the nicest guys in the world. Really? I You've really changed. Really I can't smile, believe it. I'll tell you. Rodney. But I want to straighten out one thing, though. Yes. I want to just tell you that I hear you talking all the time that my private part, unfortunately, is smaller than your private part. How would you know that? I... How would I know that? Don't I, you remember? Are you, are you, no, are you, really, are you serious? Are you being serious? You're the, oh, you're, yes, your yes, penis yes. was always very small? Very, very small, yes. And you've never admitted that on any other show. But with you, I can be myself. Right. Talk about the truth. You know and you've mean? been with many beautiful women. Uh, uh, Rodney was, first of all, Rodney was always, he was a married man for many years. Yes, right? and left show business. And right. left show business right. and everything for his family. I mean, it was admirable, you know, and you always stuck with your wife. But then when your wife was gone, you could go out and party, right? Yeah, we had a domestic situation that was rather unusual. Really? And different. She was ill, my wife. Yeah, right. So it wasn't uh, right. quite right. Right. But, uh, so, but I mean, what I'm saying is, is that then after your wife died, you yeah. were able to go out and date because you were famous and you were... How long did you wait? Right. She was alive. I could do that. Oh, you could? Sure. Oh, no kidding. Oh, wow. What a life. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, because she was ill, you were allowed to date. Oh. Whatever it was, you know what I mean? I envy your life. You do? Right? <laughs> yeah, I sure, I I surely I got, do. I got it made, haven't I? <laughs> I was shocked when you got married, actually, because, believe it or not, Rodney, you know, Rodney being a Hollywood star. He was a player. You were a player. A player? I, yeah, you were a player. I mean, you. What I play? You come on, women. You, I mean, you, you were, you were pretty good with the ladies. It wasn't like, no, uh, no, oh, no, no, ladies. Man. Yes, you are. No, no. Come on, are well, you, you kidding? You tried to be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I used to say with girls, I can hold my own, which is usually what they tell me to do. You know, so. I saw a picture of your beautiful new bride. Yeah, she's nice. Huh? Oh my God. She's Mormon from Utah. Is that right? Mormon, right. And I'm very happy with her. You are? In fact, next week I'm marrying her sister. <laughs> <laughs> you're allowed to do that when you're a Mormon. I got my eye on her brother, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, Ronnie, oh. seriously, before we talk about the movie, your I'm personal... I'm so no problem with the movie. Yeah, but I, mean, but I'm gonna, I want to talk to you about it. But your yeah. personal life is really going unbelievably well in the sense that you you have this beautiful wife. I saw a picture of her. She's like, been married for a little while now. Yeah, I know. And I mean, she is. She's totally hot. She was like some flower lady or something. Yeah, she and then she owned the flower shop. shop. That's yeah. where I met her. That's she beautiful. owned a flower shop in Santa Monica about 12 years ago. She had that. Still in that business. 
And I walked by and I noticed on her forehead she had a sign that said, I'm easy, I'm easy, I'm easy. And, and you I went said, for hey, it. Hey, that's for me, you know. Was she difficult to get, actually? She probably was. Yeah, I mean, snap. Really? Snap. Oh, <laughs> spread those legs in two good. seconds. Good. Well, not that, but right. it was easy to get to know. She Good, huh? She said, so far, not far enough. That's what <laughs> really? You know what I mean? yeah. She was shocked that you were so small. That's right. Right. In fact, that was with a hooker. I dropped my pants. She dropped her price. I'm telling you what's that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know. You tell the truth not the way easy. it is. I went to a nude beast. They told me to park in a handicap section. <laughs> out she saw what it was doing now. But these are the jokes. You couldn't believe it. <laughs> so, uh, you got a million of them. No, but I'm being serious. When you, when you, if you really truly do have a small penis, which the I don't believe. The funny thing is when you say I'm being serious. Yes. That's the funniest. Thing. I know because you can't believe it. No, but you're being serious about the size of your penis. Huh? Because it's embarrassing when, when you... I lie about something as sensitive and as yes close as that. Yeah, of course would. you would. Yeah, I bet you're big. No, I bet no, you. I bet no. you he's really big. I'm telling you. Well, uh, yes. Yeah, you are big. big. You are big. I knew it. You're in one of the fact, biggest in show business. That's right. In fact, uh, the doctor, when I was sick, the doctor told me not to lift anything over 10 pounds. Right. And for weeks, and I could never take a leak. Right. And so uh, That's how bad it was. That's how, yes. Sure. But Rodney, I have big dick jokes, small dick jokes. <laughs> right. Jokes. This is truly a great story. All right? I'm going to lather up your ass right now because this is good. Hey. So, I did the Tonight Show, like, I don't know, two, what is this, about two or three years ago or something. The first time I'd ever done the Tonight Show, right. okay, you know, with Jay Leno. And um, <clears throat> I'd done it, I thought I'd done a good job, but, you know, you know, people tell you you do a good job, but you don't know, they're kissing your ass all the time. You never know if someone's telling you the truth. Anyway, so I'm sitting at home, and I don't know how Rodney got my own phone number or what, but so, all of a sudden, uh, my assistant Laura says, Rodney Dangerfield's on the phone. So I start, like, hitting my, what? You know, because this is pretty exciting. I mean, I idolize Rodney. Rodney knows and that. And you're at home. Yeah, I mean, so Rodney's made some of the best films ever. And, I mean, I, when I used to watch him do stand-up and everything as a kid growing up, I mean, I'd just be blown out, you know, because Rodney's the man. So all of a sudden I go, well, Rod I said, first of all, it's a goof. It's not Rodney Dangerfield. It's probably some jackass who's doing a Rodney Dangerfield impression. He's going to tape it and make me look, like, stupid. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh... Uh, she goes, no, 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 I think it's really Rodney Dangerfield. I said, get the number, call back, and check with his people that it's really Rodney. So we go through the whole check. It's Rodney. So I get on the uh, phone, and Rodney says, look. He says, no one in our business ever compliments anybody else. He says, I'm at the point in my life where I can compliment whoever I want, because I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I don't have, have to, to do I don't have anymore. to be jealous. Yeah. I, this is exactly what you said to me. I don't have to be jealous or anything. He said, when I was younger, I wouldn't make a call like this. Who could do this? He says, but when I was young, I forget who the comedian was. There was some comedian that called you after you had done a, a really good job on The Tonight Show or something. Who, who was that comedian? Oh, so many called me. Oh, so really? Oh, there were so many. Oh, yeah. But you told me the name of somebody who had called you. I don't remember who it was. I he don't says, either. Yeah, but you said, you know, you very rarely got to talk to anyone. No one ever told you if you did a good job or anything like that. Ron, do you remember this call? He probably doesn't. <laughs> he probably doesn't remember this. You don't remember it, do you? But it's painting me in a great light. <laughs> right, it is, it is. So I'm sitting there and I'm going, wow, you know, and Ronnie goes, look, I just watched you on The Tonight Show. I want to tell you, I really dug what you were doing. I understand what you were doing. It was wild. It was, and, and plus, it was so wild that it was kind of like, sometimes you think like people don't get it or something. You don't know. And Ronnie goes, I loved it. I loved everything you did out there. And I just wanted to call and tell you. And I was like, wow. I remember what you did that night, too. The whole thing. You know what I mean? One thing is said, Jay, how come you tell me never mention Johnny Carson's name around here? Right. And he said, I know said that. Oh, you didn't know? I thought you said that. Don't you? But you get out of the shockers in. Don't yeah, I kept, I, kept, I kept going at it. And Rodney really appreciated it. He just picked up the phone and said it. Now, nobody ever does that. That's no. why it was, it, was, it was like a big gesture. You know, Rodney doesn't have to do that. You don't have to pick up no, the phone. You're on the ball there. Man. I was working good that night, and you dug it, Not and you gave me a call. You're doing a job. Well, you thanks, thanks, Ron. Even I always appreciated you doing that. Thank I really, you truly much. did. It was I really. I tell the people about something I'm doing on the uh, Interco. You, you have a new uh, site, don't you? Well, for the movie, they set up a website. Well, that's great. I have my own site. I was the first one to have one, you know, and yeah. I'm doing very well myself. But what I'm doing is, I'm answering the phone. I'm the answering service for anybody who's on the internet that has a computer. They just hit my thing, Rodney.com. Yeah. Will tell you how to. I'll end with film and close up. They get hi. Ah, this is Rodney Dangerfield. but they're not home now. But when I do a joke and, uh, and people really like it, you do that. He does yes. an answering machine message. So this is it. So really, this it cost them nothing. Call up. I mean, hit my site, and the site will tell you how to put this message on. Rodney.com. Rodney.com. Okay, give them something there. Really? That's right. You're giving that away for free. For free. They're oh, very surprised. Yeah.
Probably could charge money for that. No, I don't. No, no, no. They have it for free. Also, anybody wants to go to Vegas, they open it February 8th, you know. You, you still do. You, you don't have to work anymore. I mean, you got millions and millions of dollars, I right? I found out idleness is a devil's workshop. It is. It is. You want to stay work, sharp. You, you want to stay on top of your game. I can't do nothing, you know. It's horrible. Really? I, I, I keep busy. That's it, you know. And you bring the wife with you wherever you go, or uh, you uh, fly solo? She flies with me. She does? Yeah. Oh, yeah, boy, that must be a me. treat. Well, it's... Tough at times, you know. Really? That's the way it is. She gets on your nerves sometimes? Nah, no, no. I hate no, to imagine. No. But uh, anyway, now, listen, also, let me uh, let me tell you what Rodney... Rodney's not here for his health. Uh, the movie is opening tomorrow, Meet Wally Sparks. That's right, tomorrow. This is your new film. That's right. And uh, not only does it open in theaters across the country, Rodney will be making two special New York appearances where yeah. actually Rodney will perform live doing his stand-up before the screening of the film. You're kidding! So, literally, for the price of a ticket, like seven bucks... You, you would see Rodney! You would see Rodney do a show first, and then you would see the film. Where's that happening? Well, I'll tell you. I'm Tomo not doing a whole hour. Well, I understand. It's enough to consider the show. It's it more than they get otherwise. It's not as much as they get in Vegas. Exactly. But, but it's enough but, that they get to see... And it's but not for nothing, it's a good deal. Right. <laughs> you go see a legend tomorrow, Friday, January 31st at 7 p.m. in Manhattan at the Sony Lincoln Theater, 68th and Broadway. That's the Lincoln Square Center. That's right. Saturday, February 1st, 7 p.m. in Manhattan, Sony Lincoln Theater, 68th and Broadway. So Rodney will be there. If you need tickets, you call 212-336-SONY, S-O-N-Y, 212-336-SONY. Why? Mm, that's Thank you very much, baby. You're dynamite. Well, wait a second. Don't go so quick. I no. want to ask you a couple of questions, I want to get Rodney. Back to the Dixie. Okay? Yeah, right. Now, but I want to ask you some yeah. serious questions here. Well, I mean, as serious as I can be. So, tell everybody because this is a pretty inspirational story. When you were a young guy, you, you always wanted to be a comedian or something. At 15, I was writing jokes. Right. To escape from reality. Yeah. Because reality was bad. Terrible. Were your parents horrible? My father was never home. He was out looking to make other kids. Right. <laughs> and he was a womanizer. You weren't enough for him. <laughs> yeah, right. right. He saw you and said, I have to make more. And my mother brought me up all wrong. She did. That's right. Like, what do you mean by wrong? Seriously. Her values. Really? What exactly. were her values? Money. Well, money, yes, to make money. She wanted me to marry a rich girl and support her. Oh, right. Dear. Yeah, so she yeah. always said to you, Rodney, I want you to grow up. Grow up. Marry a rich her girl. Her objective was to go marry a rich girl. Right. See? Wow. So that put a lot of pressure on you right away. And you say, what kind of values is this? You should marry yeah, someone for love. 14 asking girls, how much money do you have? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't believe it, right? I couldn't believe right. it. I went through. So your own mother, in a sense, you were mad at. It's true? Ah, you don't get mad at your mother, you know? Right, right. But but it was shocking to that you. It was my mother. No, no right, but, but you recognized that there was something I off there. I saw there's something wrong. Yes. Right. And, but, but was she dissatisfied with her life that she didn't marry a rich man? Was that the uh, thing? Uh, she was dissatisfied with her life for... Uh, Every reason. Right. So at 15, you're running around. I was writing jokes. You're writing jokes. At 19, I was a singing waiter. No kidding. I sang Let songs. Let me hear you sing. I never heard There'll be bluebirds over the white cliffs of Dover. Tomorrow, just you'll wait and see. So that job didn't last long. <laughs> no, I got fired. Right. <laughs> I was at the Polish Falcon in Brooklyn. Sally Marcel, Lenny Bruce's mother, was the mistress of ceremonies. I sang and they threw money at me. So, <laughs> so Lenny Bruce's... Did you write jokes for Lenny Bruce? No, no. No. I, I met him through his mother at the time. He okay. was young as the Navy when I met him, you know? Right. So that, that's way back. Right. And um, a, a genius, Lenny Bruce? I mean, do you like the yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. Nice he guy? Was, uh, yeah, very sweetheart. And sweetheart did you say, hey, Lenny, what are you doing so many drugs for? Did you... Uh... Uh, it's, uh, I had experience with him with that. It would turn me off terribly, you know what I mean? But right. listen, you can't... Because you, you were never into that scene, right? No, no. Pot, you, were, you know, but... Little uh, pot, that's it. That's it. Right. But you had it under control. Listen to Jackie. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Hey, Pat, okay. So, all right, so you meet Lenny Bruce, and, uh, I mean, that's, that, that, you know, because so much has been said about him, I can't imagine what he was like, but he had to be a pretty wild guy. But you've seen tons of comics do themselves in with drugs. I mean, the late Sam, Sam Kinison, who we both agree yeah, was yeah. brilliant. Genius, genius. But, but the guy just couldn't get his whole drug use thing under control well, at all. it's tough, you know, when you're too good, something happens to you, I guess. And uh, it's tough to keep us straight, you know, when you're in show business. Was anything more brilliant than Sam's brief appearance in your film, uh, Back to School? I mean, was anything was more brilliant? absolutely dynamite. That's dynamite. one of the best scenes on film ever. And all his bits were done. This is sad, you know, though. They're all tremendous. He was tremendous. You know. In fact, Rodney was one of the first comics to really give Sam a break. I think that was where I first saw Sam, was on one of his specials. Yeah. The HBO special. Right. Yeah. Rodney brought him out, which... Uh, a lot of people know specials, you know. Yeah, I know. Jerry Seinfeld, Roseanne Barr, 
Tim Allen, Jeff Foxbury, mention them all. Yeah, I know. I about nine of them put all these guys on. I'm happy they all made it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was really good. But I know that's the first time I ever heard Sam Kinison, because I happen to think Sam Kinison was one of the most brilliant comics that ever lived. He was. That he ever was. graced this he planet, was. and it's sad to see him gone. So, all right, so you're this young guy, you're writing jokes for other people, but you never got up and told jokes yourself? Until what age? Kid? Yeah. I was 19. 19 is when you started... waited and I would start telling jokes. Right. You start I'd telling jokes. I worked in tough joints. Right. Uh, I, if you did bad, they want to beat you up. You know right. what I mean? Right. I had one bouncer said to me once, I think you stink. What do you want to do about it? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So it was after I beat him up. Right. Then I went to... <laughs> so, 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 so when you did these gigs and you, and you went around and everything, it was frustrating to you because... You felt you were funny, you knew you were a good comic, and yet things weren't breaking for you, right? How good can you be going to Florida first time? You know what I mean? How good can you be? I used to get $5 for two shows on Saturday. Right. And uh, one time the, the owner says to me, uh, ah, the waiter's doing MC. I told him, here's a dime back car fare. It was a nickel that way you go up to the Bronx for subway. And so I said, being a truth thespian, right. I said, well, can I be a waiter for the night? All right, give me four tables in the back somewhere. So, you know, the whole thing was to make a buck. Right. And the thing yeah. was, that, that, because the thing I always read about you was that, like, when at 40 years old, you quit the business. You I said, that's it. Business. I can't take it. I can't make a living doing it. Can you give me an idea how well I was doing at the time I quit? I was the only one who knew I quit. <laughs> right, right. There, there, was no, there was no big announcement in no the newspaper. Party, no, nothing. Rodney Dangerfield's right? leaving. <laughs> So the thing is, is that it had to be frustrating to you because inside you believed in yourself. You knew you were funny, and yet the business was being cruel to you. No, I tell you, I didn't know. It was this something thing. Uh, I was immature then. Right. I wasn't mature. I had no image. Right. So I quit it and got married, and I found out making a marriage work is tougher to get work in show business. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Make show business look easy. That's right. Oh. Right. So you got married, and, got married. And, and for a while you were like a salesman and stuff. This is inspirational. What kind of salesman was he? I've always heard that he was a... I like, sold aluminum siding, siding, right? Aluminum oh, siding and kidding. painted houses and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, and is aluminum siding the ugliest crap in the world and or what? And how do you get people to buy I that? I wouldn't say that. No, yeah. there were jobs up there. I've been still up there 20 years later. Really? Do you have to go back out there? Remember you did my house. Yeah, <laughs> they don't even care that you're a comic. Yeah. They just, <laughs> there's many funny stories I can tell you about that. Where did you sell the aluminum siding? I was in Englewood, New Jersey for 10 years. Could you imagine? I'll tell you something. So I saw people at job, you know, saying on Saturday, Sunday, they're watching Ed Sullivan, and they see me walk out on Ed Sullivan under a different name. Wow. <laughs> My name's Jack Roy, the real name, so I'm siding. Then they see Rodney Danesfield. <laughs> so they said, she says to the mechanic, is Mr. Roy so, so in show business? Yeah. He says, yeah, he's just setting aside, you know. Wow. On the side, Ed Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ed Sullivan's the side oh, game. Yeah, it's the side so game. Even when you were, so even when you were back doing Ed Sullivan, you were still selling the aluminum siding, and people yeah. would tune in and see their aluminum siding guy on Ed Sullivan. That's right. That had That's to be, amazing. That That's had to be weird. amazing. It's weird. And, and it's a weird it's sort of place to be in that you're selling aluminum siding, and you want and to feel like you're in show Ed business. Sullivan. And Sullivan let me announce it to anybody here want aluminum, I'll be happy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Nice. Would he really let you do that? Very nice. Dude. What a what a gentleman. You I never had any problems with that, Sullivan. No, no, always nice to me. One story I'll tell you quickly, okay? Yeah. I'm working at Copa Gamana, finished the show, he runs over to me. You're just wonderful. You're wonderful. You must do our show. You must do our show. I said, Ed, I'm already on your show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no idea you'd done it. That's right. That's no amazing idea. man. Guy's like a block of wood. But getting back to your dick and my dick. Let me Go ahead. All right. All right. We're gonna say well, let's get to the real they stuff. Say, they say that you can tell the size of a man's dick by his name very often. Really? That's right. You take a guy who's a short guy who's like Pee Wee Herman. Right. You know? You know that. Little Abner. Right. Here's one, Dick Van Dyke. He didn't know what he is, you know? <laughs> and no uh, one was clear. That's what I say. Now, listen, Rodney. <laughs> so you, uh, you, so, okay. So then you're doing the Ed Sullivan thing and all that, and then when you break When do you give up the aluminum siding? Yeah, when do you decide to give up the aluminum siding business? Uh, I mean, when I gave it up. Could you make money doing it? I mean, did you make good money? I made a living, you know, yeah, right. whatever it was. I right. gave it up when I started doing okay in show business, which took a long time. Right. I was 44 before I even got a decent job after starting at 40, you know. Uh -huh. And I'm like, were you pissed? Because the whole vibe I always heard was that Rodney was pissed yeah, off. Yeah, he was miserable. Because show business didn't recognize him until he was in no, his 40s. No, no, I didn't, I didn't deserve any recognition when I was younger. I wasn't uh, mature, I didn't have an image. I came back with an image. Right. Everything goes right. How right. did you come up with that? Yeah. Well, then I came up with respect. Right. Well, I heard the Godfather talk. Hey, I want some respect. She's with me. Respect her. She's with me. Respect me. Respect him. Respect, 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 respect. <laughs> right. So I wrote a joke. I don't get no respect. I played hide and seek. They wouldn't even look for me. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. And fifth, I was caught up and I wrote thousands of no respect jokes and I feed the image with the no respect jokes. And, that's, and, and when do the chicks and everything start coming to you? I mean, like, does that happen, like, uh, after what point? Like, when you start doing movies? Like, you start getting hot broads? In the middle of my first no respect joke, then it started. <laughs> right, right in the middle. Right in the middle. <laughs> 
start doing you in the middle of that. Look, lunging at me right in the middle of the joke. I knew I had something there. How famous do you have to be to have two girls at once? I mean, does that, that I happen? I love two girls at once. Really? Is that your really? favorite thing? Oh, yeah. If I fall asleep, <laughs> if I fall asleep, we got each other to talk to. <laughs> no pressure. I almost screwed that one up pretty good. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. And, um, and, uh, and then I, I got very upset when I heard about you. You had a sue of a place that burned your eyes in a sauna room or something. Jesus Palace. Yes. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. Well, how the hell did that happen? Well, but, they fixed the steam room by people who were just... Uh, not with steam room people. And I opened the door one night backstage. My show took a steam room. The whole thing blew up in my face. Wow, you know I mean? wow. And I, and I heard it. It affected your vision and everything, I right? couldn't see. But my right eye is still not right from it. You no know? kidding. Yeah. Wow. And I had a lot of compassion. Yeah. They told me, if you don't work, you don't get paid. That's the <laughs> nice. they had, right? Yeah, so that pissed you off, and you said, I'm going to teach you guys a lesson. No, they, they, they said, we're going to want to pay you the days you lost, but only if you sign with us for another two years. Mm, that's nice. So they used them bribery. I said, well, what's one thing got to do with the other? Right, right, right. And so it was a whole ugly thing, you know. I'm not looking to sue anybody. I'd rather do jokes. Yeah, right. But sometimes you get so furious and so angry. You've got to stand you gotta up for your you rights. You know? And uh, you recently worked with uh, Brooke Shields? Oh, yeah, I did Lazy Susan. Suddenly Susan. Oh, Lazy, Lazy, Lazy Susan's Susan. Susan. more like right it. The first time. Was it that bad? <laughs> I mean, uh, did she, she, she act at all? She's or? a great chick. She, really, she is, really? She's dynamite. She's a... Humble, nice, warm person. Well, she yeah. should be humble. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, she is really nice. Yeah, she was okay. Very yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, you worked with them all. You, you didn't get to do her though, right? I mean, you're a married man now. You couldn't. Uh, hey. You can't take well, advantage. Are you? Of her. Um, you've given sworn off all other women. For magazine. Yeah. <laughs> Have you sworn off all other women? Oh, I don't. I'm, I'm strictly really? straight now. Can't oh, believe yeah. it. Oh, oh, my God. Wrong, you know. Right. Now yeah. I got an excuse that. Uh, well, I was going to say, <laughs> if I don't get him now, I got a real good excuse. Right. So, so, so uh, the movie, Meet Wiley Sparks. Yeah. All right. So you you've taken some time off between I movies. Want to thank you, man. No one's been ever this kind to me as you have. Been. Really? Last week, mentioning the movie, doing the whole thing, and you got your own movie coming out, which I hear is great. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm very proud of the movie coming. I hear out. it's dynamite. Yeah. Man, it's not till March seventh, but I'm anxious for you to see it. Well, see, I will definitely see it. And thanks so much for the uh, mentioning my movie. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, man. Anything you do, I'd go see. I mean, uh, Meet Wally Sparks is coming out. You're talking about Rodney, who's given us so many great movies. Easy why Money. Why hasn't he done a movie? Yeah. Movie? Why are you waiting so long to do movies? You just like. Relaxing. Sometimes it's tough to get connected with the right vehicle. This here started four years ago. Right. Harry Basil, who wrote it with me, had an idea to do a talk show host. At first, I said, I don't know how to do that. Then we start writing it slowly, 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 and it came together. And also, we finished it, we said, and people read it, and they said, wow, we've got something here. This is funny as hell. And right. So we decided to do the movie. That was four years ago. So it's four years in the making of writing and fixing it up and doing stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, right. It takes a long time. The trouble is, people do things too quickly. They knock together a television show in one week, you can't do it. Right. My father was in vaudeville. When he went out, he broke in eight minutes. It took him ten months to break in eight minutes for perfection. When I did a Tonight Show, it would take me three months to prepare it. People would never know that. Yeah, people don't realize that. No, I'm on a panel that's all prepared. The whole thing has to go around for three months on and off and close, breaking in jokes, doing the whole thing, you know? Yeah, because you make it look spontaneous that's and easy. Right. And you make it look yeah. like it's right off the cuff, but it's all, it, it's a play. That's right. what it is. Exactly. You're sitting there and you're, you're scripting the whole thing out. So the thing is, you took some care and you wanted to make sure your next movie was good. And so that's how Meet Wally Sparks, Sparks well, was born. Well, yeah, this one I have confidence in that everyone who has seen it says... This is absolutely hilarious. Yeah, we saw a clip from the movie where uh, Rodney's standing there by a statue of a guy, right, a I naked guy, and they break off. Uh, Rodney accidentally breaks off the guy's penis. Yeah. And uh, he sho he's, it in his, he's embarrassed. His he shoves he it. A big dick. Right. Yeah. I mean? yeah. He shoves it in his. He shoves it in his pants, and he goes into this uh, ballroom, you know, like a dance. And uh, of course, um, Wally Sparks has this. <laughs> this. Uh, well, he goes to the says, "I'm really excited to meet you." And this <laughs> yeah. woman looks down at his pants. He looks very excited. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's classic Rodney. So anyway, it's great to have Rodney Dangerfield here. Now, if you want to see Rodney's movie and, under a special circumstance by seeing him perform live beforehand. That's tomorrow, Friday, January 31st at 7 p.m. in Manhattan, Sony Lincoln Theater, 68th and Broadway. Saturday, February 1st, 7 p.m. Manhattan, Sony Lincoln Theater, 68th and Broadway. And for tickets, you can call 212-336-SONY. The movie is called Meet Wally Sparks. And, um, you know, Rodney Dangerfield. Rodney Dangerfield. So nice to me. Forget the money you owe me. Okay? Really? Okay. Yeah, uh, skip it. No, skip it. it. Skip it. Want, yeah. All right. Thank you. Nice. You're too nice to me. You've been too nice. So great Rodney Dangerfield, everybody. We'll be back right after these words. Thank you very much. I'm done. You're done. That's it. Painless.
more after this. Here's something for you folks who aren't at the point where you puke when you hear O.J. Simpson's voice. Uh, I guess what bothers you, you can see a Jay Leno make jokes. It was painful to me, but I didn't think there was any real malice in the jokes that he was making. You see a Howard Stern, a guy that, hey, he's irreverent about everything. And even though I didn't like it, I thought some of it was, uh, was vicious. That's Howard Stern. So to an extent, you understand it. It's the legitimate press, people under the guise of journalism. People like Newsweek magazine and Time magazine. I mean, what was that all about? The man you never know. get sick of hating. Hey, what a coincidence. You're listening to Howard Stern. Really? Thank you, OJ. OJ checking in with his explanation of comedy and the media. And really? Certainly a very deep thinker, the OJ. It's great to hear the ramblings of a madman. Oh, that would be me, not OJ. <laughs> You're on the air. Howard, good morning. Yes, hi. Good morning, Robin. I had a question for uh, Rodney, but I can actually pose the question to you. At Rodney split. He had a big entourage out there, actually. Rodney, did you see there was a whole thing going on in the halls? Did you check that out? Yeah, there were a lot of people. <laughs> what are you doing over there? What's going on over there today? I'm working here. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, come on. You're on the air. <laughs> I thought the wheels would get me back here, but they sort of let right. me down. You must fall over in your chair. <laughs> Robin and I have a reporter watching us right now. David Handelman. He's writing for a TV guide. I see, he said the blind man. Yeah. You better be nice to me. What? Uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm just trying to make sure you're the king of all media outlets. Right. Anyway, uh, just laugh at that because I need a good article. <laughs> Very good. David's the guy who, remember, did this story for Rolling Stone on Sam Kinison, and Kinison wanted to shoot him? Oh. <laughs> Remember how great that was? We tried to call you on the air that day. Yeah, I, I get to work about when you stop work, so... Right, yeah, we didn't work that out, but... Uh, Sam, David's a real good writer. He's written for Rolling Stone and TV well, Guide. What was it exactly that he said about Sam? That Sam well, I remember the article. I remember reading the article, and I thought it made Sam seem kind of cool. Uh-huh. Like a rebel and an outlaw. But you know how... Like, you go over... Sam would always take the opposite. Well, yeah, David, everything was an attack on Sam. David wrote about what he saw. He spent the day with Kinison. Kinison was all excited because he was going to be in Rolling Stone. On the cover. Yeah. But, you know, there's going to be an article accompanying it. And he goes with David. And you know how you spend the day with the Rolling Stone reporter? I've done that. And uh, he showed me his gun. Yeah. His he girlfriend takes... cooked me some food. Yeah. He, he, he goes over there. And you know when you go over to Sam's house, he shows you his guns and he stuff? He shows you whatever new thing he just got. Or his heart medicine yeah. and his pills yeah. and everything else. And it's like he forgets that he's with a reporter. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want a guy to write about your guns, you don't show That's a reporter right. your guns. That's I mean, right. you use your head. And the fact that Sam Kinison had guns is very scary. Right. <laughs> trying to see if my guns are hidden. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, so you you don't want to show a reporter your guns <laughs> if you don't want that known. That's right. So of course David was sitting with Sam, and Sam immediately, hey, I got guns, I man. Got guns. Hey, man, I got guns. You know, whatever the hell, it, whatever that accent was, and. So then he opens up the article, and the first thing is, hey, I'm over Sam's house, and he's got guns. <laughs> That's not what upset him, though. What upset him? Uh, the stuff about his brother who died, the stuff uh, about it being a preacher and getting money from people yeah, but, by faking it. But he told you all that. Uh, actually, Bill Hicks told me a lot. Oh, he did? Oh. <laughs> Bill Hicks is gone, too. Another great comic. Yeah, if you talk to me, you die, so... Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh-oh, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, can you leave? <laughs> Jinx. Is there anyone you've talked to that actually... Uh, lived? Lived? Yeah, a couple of people. No. Madonna. Oh. Uh. All right. You talk to David, you die. Go talk to my general manager. <laughs> oh. <I don't> mind. <laughs> yeah, there's a few people would like to send you to. Yeah. Talk to Fred. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, Rob, what do you want? Howard, I, I had a good... It's good to have Rodney on the air, by the way. Yeah, Rodney's dynamite, man. I love Rodney. Yeah, he's great. He had some great movies. I had a question for him, but I can actually pose it to you, actually. Yeah. What is um, it? I want to ask you a question. Uh, I want to know what it's like to be a great performer, have a great career, do great movies, and, you know, what's that feel like as opposed to being a failure and a wannabe like Jackie Martling, let's say? Oh. oh. That's nice. Jackie, you want to talk to this guy about that? I, I can't answer that. <laughs> I can't answer that. <laughs> I Howard, have I got my own viewpoint. <laughs> Jackie is very successful in his own field. In my own mind. Right. <laughs> in his basement. Yeah. I got one more question for you, Howard. It's actually pretty good now that you got that reporter in there. I think he probably won't ask you this as well. Yeah. Let me pose a scenario to you. Oh, boy. Fifteen years down the line, you've uh, retired from radio. You're a great movie star now. You've had a great career. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully oh. you're dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks, Jack. You keep coughing and sneezing during the show. Anyway, so 15 years down the line, you're home, you're relaxing, you're a multimillionaire. Thank and you. Your daughters have grown up. Yes. And your youngest daughter comes to you one day. She's 17 years old. She says, Daddy, I'd like you to meet my new boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. And he's coming to the house tonight, and I'd like you to meet him. So the doorbell rings at 6 o'clock at night. Could you drag this out more? So, I'm almost done. Standing at the door. Yeah. All his glory, all his big teeth is Jackson Delabate. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'd kill Bob myself. Bob Bob I don't even want to think about the whole dating thing with my kids. I don't even want to. I don't even want to deal with it. Okay. All right. How about don't it? even want to deal with it. And, and, you, know. you really can't, huh? Ugh. I just know that not only am I going to meet these pecker heads, they're going to come over. They're going to want to see my house. They're going to see what's going on inside. I'm never going to trust see what that they're they there. Get for, out of you. Yeah, I'm never going to trust <laughs> that they're there for my daughters. And my daughters are such sweet kids. And this is going to be like a nightmare. And I'm going to look at these guys over and have to play that whole leave it a beaver role. You know where you. Where you sit there like, uh, you know, Mr. Cleaver and, and bring the boys into the study and discuss crap with them. And, you know what I mean? I don't want to go through that. And then, and then, and then if they get serious with a guy, I've got to meet the whole goddamn Maka Tainista. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever that is. That's, uh, the, that's Italian for the family of the, of the, ah, of the guy. You know what I mean? I don't want to meet them. Then all of a sudden I gotta get to know well, the parents. Have children? I don't know. <laughs> this is all. This I really what don't know. Along with it, how? I know. I didn't realize it was gonna be all this hassle. I thought they would stay you young. You thought they would be babies yeah. forever. I'm splitting by the time they get that age. <laughs> right. I really am. I'm You're getting out of there. You're not gonna be there. Huh? I told my wife, be prepared. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> but then I'll be on my third wife. Oh yeah. Hey, so when Rodney was here, Ganji was interviewing him, and uh, Ganji said to him, "Did you? Uh, did, so we, I understand you knew Jackie many years ago." He goes, "Yes." She goes, "Did you have a pleasurable experience with Jackie? You'd like to tell us?" He goes, "I didn't have any pleasurable experiences with Jackie." Really? Yeah. And Ganji said he wasn't kidding. Well, you know what? I noticed that Jackie didn't go over to talk to him. Yeah. What's going on between you know. and Rodney? I don't know. He didn't know me. He acted like he didn't know you. That's weird. I don't even know if he saw me. Are you sure you know him? Why wouldn't you say hello to him? Jackie, say hello to everybody else. I think know. Jackie was lying. When I first met Jackie, Jackie said that he wrote for I Rodney. Did, I did make that up. You did really? Yeah. All Is right. that true? All right. Well, then you came clean. Good for you. Are oh, Rodney still here? <laughs> Should I ask him. Is he still here? I think Rodney don't like you. I know. Wow. Because you used to hang. Did you really hang with Rodney? Be honest. Didn't he tell us he used to have dinner at Rodney's house? He said he had dinner at Rodney's house, him and Paul that. Williams. You said you and Paul Williams he and had Rodney. had dinner at Paul Williams' house. You and Rodney? In Las Vegas. All right. Really? Uh-oh. <laughs> Here comes Rodney. Total strangers. Really? Really? Rodney, you want to address this Jackie Martling thing at all? You told them you didn't know me. <laughs> you told them you don't know me. I know you well. He just doesn't like you. You told everybody you don't like me. Oh, you did? Oh, you what did. Just like anyway, and no hating me at all. No. Oh. I love him. You love Rodney, right? Yeah. He had a few problems, which I'm sure you remember. What are the you problems, know? Rodney? No, oh, really, Rodney? Because I have problems with him, too. Well, Everybody has problems with like, him. Uh, I'm sure you recall. Really? Really, Jackie? Wow. wow. What is this about? <laughs> this is way too what personal. What are all my problems with I you about, I see Howard. Rodney's face while this is going on. Oh, you know, hey, Rodney, let me guess what the uh, problems were. He gets jealous of no, your success. No, no. Not that. Oh, no, not that problem? I asked Rodney to borrow some money. Oh, I know is that it? Money. Oh, oh. Why would you do that? that? Oh, it does? Did it go deeper than that? Yeah. You oh. didn't pay it back? Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're on the air. I'll <laughs> be <laughs> on the air. Of course. Uh, See, I heard, I heard something. Than that. Right, right. This doesn't have anything to do with your buddy who rented Rodney's house. No, no. That, that's a whole different oh, yeah, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jackie. Millions of years later. Oh, it is? Well, it has nothing oh. to do with me. Well, all I know is you piss Rodney <laughs> off. Man, I'm not offended or hurt by anybody. You understand? I've been through everything in life. I, I really don't know what you're talking about. Because our falling out, I asked you to loan me some money to press and my I did. album. I did. Yeah, and then I... And but the I... next week you came back and asked me for more money. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> Jackie, it's got to end somewhere, you know? All right. Oh, is and, that uh, true? Wow. I borrowed some money, I and I paid not... it back, and then I asked the borrower some money. You never paid said... me back, okay? Ooh. You just came that... back the next week and asked me to borrow more money. Ronnie, that's not true. Really? Well, then we have a difference in opinion who got paid back. If you could pay me back, you would have to borrow a second time then. Right. Yeah, what Does kind of payback sense? is that to borrow a okay. well, now, look, I'm not looking to get busy with this, Jackie. It was years and years ago. I wish everybody And Jackie still hasn't paid you back? Jackie still hasn't paid you back, Rodney? Yeah. That's, 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 I, don't I borrowed a thousand dollars. Yeah. And I gave it back to you in jokes. And you don't remember that? In jokes? Oh, oh in jokes. 
<laughs> How do you put a value Joke on those? Money. <laughs> and I, that's not true either. Okay. All right. Oh, well, man. see, Jackie, when I met him, he wasn't doing well. He was uh, a loser. According I, to, now I turned him into a human being, though. How he's, he's behaving better. According here. to my records, Jackie has irritated Rodney, right. Eddie Murphy, and Rosie O'Donnell. Right. <laughs> Thank God for me, Jackie, putting up with you. You see? I'm not the only I one. I appreciate the charity I get from everyone. All you know, right. great guy in your corner here, and I'm... No. Wow. No, I wish you the best, man. Right, okay? right, right. We're all in this world to try and be happy, and it's all. So right. If you're happy, you're doing great. And I'm glad no you brought him back. No yeah, I'm glad. Right. I'm because, glad we worked this out. Because I knew that there was <laughs> yeah. something going on. Nothing was said right. between the two of them. Right. Yeah, yeah. It was weird so because in the scope of life, this is extremely important. Because Jackie's big story has always been how he hung out with Rodney and, and you Rod were friends. and Rodney is his friend and Rodney is his buddy. And then when you were here, I said to Jackie just casually, I said, "Gee, you and Rodney didn't seem to really uh, say anything to one another." And then, uh, then I guess uh, I never knew about the I never knew about the falling out. The last couple of times I saw you, you never said anything about this. He's at a all. gentleman. Well, I don't go around. What's he going to say? You still owe me money? You you story. called that first debt square with me. You called the square with me. What, I mean. Hey, Rodney. You Rodney. Know best we don't go over this. Really? No, it's Rodney. He's not being straight. What is he, Jamie? Straight. You're telling me I'm lying. No. Well, well, you I, think Rodney would lie, Jackie? <laughs> I would lie. I don't. Not, uh, what I don't think game? it was a debt. I think it was that uh, Rodney read that Jackie was claiming he wrote a lot of his jokes. Oh, and really? It was, it's a lot less than. Oh, Rodney really? Claims I see. Today. I see. So, when you, you had an interview, you had an interview recently where you said that you caught my act. And he was surprised about how many of your jokes are in my act. Well, so I never said that. That was in the interview, okay? In, in where? Show it to me. That's not true. I don't true. know. That's what the guy said. Okay? Who's, who's the guy who said that? I don't know. I don't keep track of these things. But I'm telling know. you, I have never said that. All right, wow. then forget about forget it. Forget it. It's over forget with. It's thing. over with. It's 100 years old. Hey, Rodney, when yeah. you were in Natural Born Killers, when did you grab uh, Juliet Lewis's ass? Yes, Was that I nice? I had her behind in my hands. Beautiful. I know, but at that time I couldn't appreciate it. My mind was in other things, you know what I mean? Yeah, like the Jackie interview. Oh, oh, he never said that. Okay, forget about it. Case closed. Yeah, well, Jackie. I'm never going to forget about it. No, now we're going we're to torture him the rest of his life. Yes, because <laughs> his one friend turned out not to be a friend. He ruined if the friendship. If you need some more money, I'll loan it to you. You see what I mean, I Rodney? You some now. Jackie, huh? yeah, now Jackie's doing pretty well from the show, you know. Now he has money. Why don't you pay, why don't you pay Rodney yeah, back his money? why don't you money? give him his money back? Why don't you give him his thousand? I, I back. paid him I'll back pay. his jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of thing is that? Did he give you jokes when I you pay, asked for money? I pay him back his jokes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, oh, give I'll me pay cash. Him back his jokes. Yeah. <laughs> well, Rodney, Whatever it is. Uh, what is it? Uh, he also said that when... Uh, when they went to Vegas together, right. Jackie would get drunk all the time. Right. And when R people would come up to Jack uh, Rodney and say, "Hey, Rodney, how's it going?" Mm. Jackie would be like, "Why aren't they paying attention to me?" Oh no! Yeah, I know. I listen. Oh. Jackie I know and I didn't say that. Jackie went through no, that. You, you said didn't say. Jackie and I went they through that. You, they know me. Yeah. Jackie, oh, yeah, right. Exactly. Rodney. Jackie, you exactly. don't even know what you do. Nobody. Jackie, that's oh, oh, Jackie. Is bull crap. Jackie, <laughs> that's your mo. Yeah. That's your mo. See. What I tell you? didn't even know me on Long Island then. I would have done that. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes, you would. What when about me? I could you see me screwing around, turn to Rodney and say, gee, I can't believe they know you and they don't know me fooling around. You say I can't believe. Yeah. How can they know you and they don't know me? What's well, the difference? I man. really would have said that. It's unimportant. It's all over with. It's Rodney, it's all over with. That's what can Thank you do? Thank God you got away from him, Rodney. That's all I got to say. I would have never said that. A million years, I would have never said yeah, that. Yeah, but I've heard you say it. I'm few wrong. Right. I'm wrong. Rodney says he's wrong. Okay. So I actually turned to you and said, "How come they know you, and they don't a know television me. personality, and me, who nobody could possibly know?" I'm Jackie, you. Sorry. Okay, yeah. you happy? All right, there it is. There it is. What are you going to do? Let five guys be five guys. We all know what Jackie can be like when he's drinking. Right. Jackie, Jackie, I admit I drink. When Jackie was drinking, I'm going to tell you something. When I first met Jackie, I have many of the same stories Rodney has. Yes. I'm telling you, Jackie, you gave me a hard time. What about me? I don't get credit. I don't get credit. <laughs> Cheap Jew, oh. Jew, 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 where's my champagne every minute? But I hung in there with the guy. I like the guy. I think he's very talented. Very hey, talented. Great, Super man. talented guy. Wonder, uh, he's a lot less bitter now. Listen, as far as doing things for people, I think no one has done more for comedians than I have. Right, mm -hmm. right. Every show, I have catch him, go look at him, find him. Right. And uh, whatever it was. So uh, I'm not looking to do anybody any harm. Right, right. I looked at 
I didn't have to take you to Vegas with me. Know what I, mean? I, I know that. Right. You're wow. on your knees begging to go with me. I said, okay, come on. <laughs> right. You were nice to him. <laughs> and you're, no, but anyway. <laughs> well, yeah. I wish you the best today. You couldn't be with a better guy than Howard. Thank you, right? Rodney. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you again, Rodney. I didn't mean to bring up this ugly thing, but it started oh, in yeah. on the I air. had no idea it existed. <laughs> Why wouldn't you say hello to him, Jackie? Yeah, Jackie. Why don't you say hello to Rodney? You I said I didn't even make an approach. You no, know, I get my balls broke for approaching any celebrities that oh, come in you're here. So full all of right, it. Don't right. tell me I'm full of it. No, but you so know him. But you know Rodney. You, you, you can't if, say hello. You, you can say hello to Rodney. You get your balls broken for approaching celebrities that you don't know. But Rodney, you know. And I, he didn't say hello to me. Where my Hey, remember me? I didn't see you when I came in. I know. Right. right. Wait, you went, oh, come on, Jackie. <laughs> anyway, you know you get up and say closed, hello. Right? To case me. closed, right, Rodney? Where are we going? But, nah, that's it. That's it. That's Listen, story, never right? mind, Jackie. Go see Wally Sparks. Hey, Meet Wally Sparks. Things I know about drugs, prostitution, <laughs> things <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> yeah, things that you've lived. That I've been through. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, thanks, Rodney. I'm uh, sorry. I, I, you I, know, know what can I tell you? As long as you two keep getting along, that's what. That's all that matters. We don't get along any better. Yeah, believe me. We don't get along. That well. They don't speak uh, if either. If you no. say that, that means you're getting the word. If he would, if he would, let, if he would give me back my money, I'd be happy. <laughs> Borrow money from me. What are you doing, hitting up Rodney for money? Uh, what are you hitting, uh, I don't understand. So why are you hitting up Rodney for money? That's a good question. I was bar trying to borrow money to press my. But second don't don't well, hit up why Rodney. Him? I asked. I was. I wasn't asking. Nah, for you did the wrong thing. No, um, All right. The guy's employing thing. you. Why hit him up for uh, a loan? Yeah. If you don't yeah. scrape and claw in the beginning. You never get anywhere. So I just. I was scraping and clawing. I admit it. Man, and he said, no. What's the big cool. deal? Listen, I used to rob grocery stores when I was trying to okay, get. Okay, so ahead. it's the same thing. Yeah, but at what's least. Well, at least you didn't ask anybody for yeah, anything. Yeah, you're wrong. Right. You I'm took wrong. what you had to take. I, I, the only thing I asked was to borrow money to get a gun. That's only by the money. I went out and robbed grocery stores, gas stations, whatever I could pick up. With borrowed money. That's right. Thanks, Rodney. So what can I tell you? All right, all right. Meet Wally Sparks. That's <laughs> the point. Sparks, go see the right. movie tomorrow. Yeah. Go see right. Rodney. Howard, thanks, Rodney. Again. Thank you so much. Thank again. you, Rodney. Thank you. The best to you. That's all ancient <laughs> history, okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's not what happened. All right. All right. Whatever you say is the truth. How's that? <laughs> any, any word thing you say is the truth. Thanks, Rodney. Will, thank you Thanks, so much, Rodney. I'll talk to you. All right, man. We love you. Thanks, Rodney. That's Rodney Dangerfield, everybody. Truly a uh, great comedian. Obviously, uh, Jackie... Uh, Jackie, like all of Jackie's relationships. Always ruining a good connection. Always a relationship. I wish I had to ruin this one. <laughs> oh, always oh. ruining a good connection. And you are so right about him, it's pitiful. I know. He doesn't see himself. <laughs> I told you that's your M.O. <laughs> I've elevated you. Oh, amazing. Well, you want to say something for yourself now? No. Nothing. You have nothing to say. Nothing to say. All right. Wow. He, you know, every guy he knows, he's always stood up and said hello to them after they've finish their bit or whatever. If they don't acknowledge him when they first come in, he still speaks. Mm -hmm. He didn't say word one. Anthony, you're on the air. Yes, Phil. Oh, 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 Phil does a Rodney impression. Let me tell you. We had enough of you. You know what? Now that we've seen Rodney, you don't sound anything like him. <laughs> yeah, you don't sound like Rodney. Oh, come on. I auditioned for, for Rodney's, uh, Rodney's uh, nightclub there. Let me tell you. It ain't easy meeting him. It ain't easy at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rodney. Let me tell you. My wife is so ugly, she walks into her room, mice jump on chairs, okay? It ain't easy. No, he doesn't sound like Rodney now. No, no, no when you have the real Rodney. <laughs> Jesus, Jackie, you really blew that one. See, in the beginning, every day I was like, oh, curse. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. And never told us there was a problem between him and Rodney. Uh, every story never told us he borrowed a thousand dollars from Rodney. Every story we uh, ever heard was I... about the good times he and Rodney used to have. <laughs> Meanwhile, here's the reality. So Rodney's sitting there, Jackie hits him up for a grand. And it's for making those dopey records of his in his yeah. basement. That's true. You see? And Rodney goes, what the hell am I financing of Tinker Toys? Right. That's so he gives him the thousand. Jackie doesn't pay it back. <laughs> paid it back in jokes. No, Jackie, tell the truth. Seriously, how did you pay it back? In, in all honesty. In those, with jokes. I'm telling you, and he called it square in his club. I wouldn't have asked for another two thousand dollars if we hadn't been square the on the first for? <laughs> another two thousand. <laughs> That's three in total. And that was that was like a year later. My second album had come out. And it, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you are such a no! Don't give me. Hey, hey, easy, oh, easy. No, easy. don't use the s word. Don't, hey, wait, 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 wait. Jackie easy. acts like his second record came out on Epic Records. Yeah, right, 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 right. And he needed another two thousand. <laughs> what was Rodney supposed to do? I. He just asked him for Has a loan. Has anybody ever asked you to borrow money? Yes, and I then say no. Then you say yes or no. What's right. the big deal? No. 
What's the big deal? No, but you, you should know that. It's not like I borrowed two thousand dollars and didn't pay it back. He said no. And what's the big deal? You should know. Right. So he knew he was going to get it back in jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what the what the equation is. No, what I would have done for a thousand dollars. Seriously, Jack, what I would have done, I would have just given him back the thousand cash. The joke thing is separate. Yeah, that's another. You borrow a thousand in cash, you give him back the thousand in cash, and then the joke thing is separate. What he buys from you in jokes, he buys from you in jokes. jokes was his what? Idea. What? That was... It was his idea. Yeah, I guess. All right. He wants everything in jokes. <laughs> yeah, in fact, for Wally Sparks, Rodney got paid in jokes. <laughs> jokes. <laughs> he he uses joke currency. I mean, aren't you a little curious how, how many... joke money? <laughs> aren't you a little curious how many jokes equals a thousand dollars? Yeah. I know in my case, it's, it's less than one. Wait a minute. You know, because sometimes Jackie will reel off a page of jokes, yeah. and the comedian can only use one, but Jackie figures out, oh, I'm just <laughs> Boy, oh boy. Oh, man, Jackie. <laughs> boy, that was a blown relationship. Man. Yeah, 20 years ago. All right. I never heard about it. I, I always yeah, heard about what great time. That story. I had no. That's a good story. I ran into him in Florida like ten years later. I said, "How you doing?" He said, "Yeah, I had a problem. You know, asking me for the two grand. I was kind of ballsy." I said, "Oh, that was that was it." Oh, that, so you knew the problem. I never knew that's what you know. Everybody's been with him. It's had falling out, falling out with him. Oh. Uh, Gary just yeah. is. Uh, were you involved with that thing in Las Vegas? That was Dennis Blair. Something completely different. It had nothing to do with me. And the same thing happened with him and Dennis. All right, whatever. Dennis borrowed two thousand dollars. Five thousand, I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> Did he really? Well, he, he looks like the bank of Rodney to you. He's probably tired of people hitting him up yeah. for money. Yeah. No, it had nothing. To do. Oh, it had nothing to do with money. Okay. I don't Didn't, think. I thought Dennis's dog made in Rodney's pool. Yeah, no, no. Dennis's dog went in Rodney's pool, and then it cost Rodney a fortune to clean the dog oh, hair out of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, was my fault. Right, because right, J- Dennis is Jackie's friend. <laughs> so, yeah. so Dennis is a Dennis. He's the guy who's a friend of the guy I lent three thousand well, dollars to. Yes. R- believe me, listen, Rodney's had it with you. That's all I can say. <laughs> it's over, Johnny. It's over, Johnny. <laughs> I was so counting on him too. Yeah. It's over, Johnny. Well, all right. It's over. I guess you know there's one silver lining to this for Rodney at least. Jackie doesn't have to send him his joke stuff. <laughs> no. Are you going to be sending Rodney a joke package? <laughs> Always send it. Right. Joanna, you're on the air. Oh, Hi, Howard. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't want to beat this to death, but if this is not a radio bit, uh, Jackie Martling is going to be the cause of the stern downfall. I'm <laughs> sorry. Why is that? I mean, what? this is really bad. Yes. This is really bad, Howard. It is bad. I mean, it's real funny. Right. It's real funny radio. <laughs> It's but great is, radio. I mean, this is serious, man. You can't do that kind of stuff. I mean, right. is Jackie me, in the same the, business you're in? But in all seriousness, we got Jackie under control now. We keep his access to the celebrities very limited. Yeah. Remember yeah, when that would be Jackie's put, attitude. That you want to put him he owes me money. Right. You want to put him in Robin's cage. And turn off the microphone. No, years ago, Jackie used to give these whacked out interviews about me, and he used to uh, get a hold of celebrities, and, and weird stuff would happen. He'd write him letters talking yeah, about you know. Howard, but but, listen, but I'm this telling this you, the guy's changed now. A little money in the pocket changes. Well, I, right, you, I, Jackie, I, Jackie I, aren't you acting more professionally I now? No different than I ever was. It's, it's apparent, Howard, that you love him very much, but I think that that piece in the back of your last book about the guy comparing all of your operation to Goebbels and Hitler and everybody else. Thank you. There is, there, I mean, he was right on target with Jackie. I mean, this guy is going to cause, I mean, I wish you a wonderful, successful career. You. You're doing great. But I'm telling you, if you look back and Stern happens to have a downfall, it's going to be Jackie Martland. Hey, never mind that. How do you think I feel about Jackie seeing the movie? He's going to go into a tailspin. Oh, the God. movie's good. Oh, God. It's going to be very hard for Jackie. Oh, I hate to see it, Howard. I love you so much. <laughs> okay. I just don't want to see anything happen to you, and, and especially well, as a result of that white so trash. now I'm bringing down the show because I asked Rodney for money in 1980. <laughs> this is the woman's feeling, Jackie. Uh, she feels she's seeing a pattern develop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, ma'am. All right. All right, Jackie. Uh, All right. Know. Jackie, you took a tough morning. You, you had to confront Rodney, and you did terribly confronting him. Uh, what a great him. day. <laughs> what a great day. <laughs> I don't think anyone can top this. <laughs> That's the best. Wow. You just outdid yourself. Yeah, I did anything bring in the girlfriend ever, I used to beat. All I know is you You want the upside of this? No. The whole article in TV Guide's about you. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. These guys are, these guys are salivating. <laughs> David's over there scribbling. He's scribbling furiously. He's like, started. Jesus Christ, you got another pad? Hey, Dave, what? Well, find the article that's where I said that I wrote all of Rodney's jokes. Yeah. Jackie, what a lucky day for you. The day we get the real story of Rodney Dangerfield. We do 900 it's shows a day. TV it's the TV Guide article. It's the TV Guide article. That's Martling. M-A-R-T-L-I-N-G. Thousand dollars. dollars. That's right. I'm proud of it. F you. Another 2,000. I can't believe it.
<laughs> Give me another two thousand. I, I was shocked, but I thought I was going to say then he borrowed another thousand. Right. Then he went to two thousand. It's a Ponzi scheme. I paid it back in jail. Yeah. Well, that was the second album. <laughs> yeah, God, but I, I released. Bet you, I bet you Rodney loves seeing those jokes come in after he's mm. given away his money. I released my first album, and now it's time for my second album for Rodney to finance. <laughs> How is it? And the cost of making an album had gone up. Oh, Hold on a second. Come back to me, Jack. Jack, I'm not have to pick it. There was one. There's a famous Rodney joke, yeah. a famous one, that Jackie is, oh, has always said he wrote. All right. I sold it to him. Right. Which one is it? The two-bagger joke? Mm-hmm. Which tell, one tell is it? Joke. Tell it, uh, Jack. You know what I'll do? I'll bring in the letter. All right. Take it easy. Tell, yeah. tell no, we joke. believe you. <laughs> was that part of the payment of the $1,000? Yes. That no, was a $1,000 no, joke. No, but Rodney had to pay for that joke. <laughs> but tell the joke, Jackie. Tell the joke. <laughs> she was known as a two-bagger. You know that joke. No, no tell, tell it. it. Oh, no, I'm not going to tell it. <laughs> she was a two-bagger. Well, I guess I'll have to let him tell it. I quit stand-up. I quit the show. I quit my life. <laughs> Do you want me to tell the joke? Yeah, we pay no, I wish you would tell the joke. <laughs> you want me to tell, well, she was yeah. a two-bagger. Uh, one bag on my head in case the Baba bag on her head breaks. Baba like, Bowie. So words to that effect. Right. I thought you had written the three-bagger joke. No, we wrote that for you. Oh. I see. Was you were trying to, that, was the one, that was the one where uh, to make it a little better. one bag breaks and the other two... Are on there as a safety, but but okay. I, but I know that uh, that Rodney had told that joke on the Tonight Show. Yes, and it, you know it was a joke I knew when I was growing up as a teenager. And Jackie said to me, I remember when I first met, he said I wrote that joke. Well, it is comedy fact that Jackie wrote for Rodney. So right. I mean, it's yeah, very possible. Yeah, but you didn't know that Rodney was taking back those jokes for the loan money. He, had given <laughs> he financed that. He financed those friggin' records of Jackie's. <laughs> Wow. And then when Eddie Murphy asked for the same help, help he told him to beat her. Yeah. Get away. Screw off. All I know is, Jackie, there was some miscommunication between you and Rodney. What exactly went down? Who no knows? miscommunication. No, oh, you two I had a falling $1, out. $1,000. You guys you were said p- no. No, but th- he's mad at you. I mean, it's a shame that you don't pick up that this guy was mad at you. You're, you're out of it. And you're into personal that relationships. Somehow or other, it didn't feel good getting $1,000 back in jokes. Yeah. Who cares? What, uh-oh. Here comes Rodney. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh-oh. Rodney's back. <laughs> Oh, 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 here's Rodney. Oh, wait, Rodney's back. <laughs> hey, wait, Rodney's back. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> hey, Rodney. There's a few hundred more things I didn't cover. Uh-oh. All right, uh-oh. <laughs> Rodney, what's up? I came back to I heard you still talking about it. Well, this is fascinating yeah. to us. Yeah, we'll, we'll we, this, this will be, for another two years. This will go on for two or three yeah. years. Oh, this my is, God. This is yeah, now right. legend. <laughs> this is legend. Oh, Jesus, how do you like Well, Jackie says he wrote the double bagger joke That's for you. That's right, yes. He did, he did. Right. All right, so he does. But you paid credit. for that one. That wasn't in repayment for the loan. No, that was a... Uh, that was a, that was. Well, I don't remember any finished. jokes for loans. It was just, a, <laughs> yeah, just a, right. a loan and another loan. <laughs> right, right. But this is like the yeah, Israelis. Lie about that. No, this is like the Israelis and the Arabs. The final. <laughs> they, 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 you know, it, what I was trying to say to Jackie, I said, Jackie, the amazing thing is not why Rodney was mad at you, but you don't even know Rodney's mad at you. <clears throat> you don't even pick up on. You it. don't even pick up on it. You got to be. Able, you got to be into people. You got to be a people person and realize when somebody's well, mad at you, especially someone as big person, as Rodney. I understand what a people person you are. Well, listen. It's not like do we, I work things we didn't out? See each other. What? We didn't hang out together. No, I don't know. And then Jackie's always said you got mad at him because uh, you you needed a guy to watch your house at some point. So Jackie recommended no, Dennis that Blair. Is not- and then Dennis Blair's dog ended up in your pool, and you had to clean out the whole pool from dog hair. So Jackie thinks you blamed him for that. That's so funny. <laughs> there are these stories. <laughs> Rodney, that has nothing to do with Right, right. Oh. No. I mean, uh, you're never going to correct all this, I'll tell you that. It's, it, too, it's, involved. it's too involved. I'm going to drop the whole guy. Well, see, that's the way it yeah. always is with Jackie. It's always complicated. It's always complicated with Jackie. I try to help the guy. I try to get straighten out his mess. It's very difficult. Well, you're kind. You're kind. It's it's unbelievable. But, ja- uh, you know, Jackie, listen, he got to work these Jack things Joe, out himself. Joe, bail me out, will you? What? What? What's the bail out? Bail me out, Joe, will you? <laughs> Who's, Joe? Who's Joe, Jackie? Is that Joe? I can't see that. Who's Joe? Joe is a friend of mine for 50 years. And he never pissed you off, Joe. Joe uh, there's no falling out there's here. There's no falling out there. No, there's no falling out. Jackie, with Jackie. Just said you fell out with every comedian. Yeah. Oh. Ja- Jackie says you fall out with all the comedians. I have a fight with all of them? Yeah, yeah. right, right. <laughs> Oh, my God. Really, huh? I said he had a fallen out with Dennis Blair. Oh, all right. He said he falls out with everybody. That's what that's he what, said. That's the quote. Okay. <laughs> well, who else am I not friendly with? I said that you were hanging out with Dennis and you had a problem with him, that, and but that had nothing to do with me. 
Oh. That's right. Because Gary yeah. brought it up before, like it had some kind of connection to me. Right. No, right. no, no. You, you have your own thing going. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mean Dennis to mess it up. <laughs> so, Rodney, how are we going to lead this? In other words, you and Jackie now, the past is the past. Rodney, I love you. I don't care what you say about me. No? <laughs> no. Rodney don't love you. I don't, I love you too. I don't okay. think the love is mutual. Yeah. Right. It's all right. I don't. I don't. Uh, good luck, man. We're all just trying to find our way in life. That's right. Everybody. That's it. And, and Rodney, clearly, you have found yours. Yeah. I, found I don't my know way. about Jackie. He sure did. I found my way. We don't know about Jackie. <laughs> but you came just in time. I wish I was a singer. They got the racket. Everybody. They sure do. You don't have to think. Cole Porter writing for him stuff. We got to write our own stuff. You don't even have to know Jackie. Right. Right. <laughs> singers, singers got it easy. They don't have to loan guys thousands of dollars oh, and get paid oh, back in jokes. Right. Then I got writing for them. Cole Porter, Irving Berlin. They got great writers. That's true. Know, That's true. Up. And you got to go sit and think of jokes. I that's right. Think of jokes. What right. are you going to do? Huh? Well, listen, it's been a long, hard road because of Jackie, mostly. <laughs> but, uh, Rodney, you've come through it all beautifully. And everyone go see the great movie, Meet Wally Sparks. That's yeah. the point of all this. <laughs> Rodney, I don't know if it's worked out between you and Jackie, and who cares anyway? It's all worked it's out. It's all worked out. It's one big happy family here. It's all worked out. Just pay me the you money. You know what? I got a thousand <laughs> bucks on me. You With, want it? Yeah, yeah. Bring oh, out the oh, thousand bucks. Give, give Rodney the goddamn money, thousand Jackie. right now. Here it is. Oh, oh, oh yeah, reach it in the wallet. He calls me. He calls me. Is that American money? Yeah. No. Yeah, let's see. Let me see. Is that joke money? Why don't you just give him a few jokes? Wait, hey, you're about to get your money. Hold it a second. This is a miracle. I got all it to you. Wait a second. Oh, let's see. I don't have it. What you don't have it? Well, how much you got? Hold on. Hold on. Let me loan you another thousand. Ah. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you ask Rodney to lend you? Give me a pen, Howard. What? Oh, you're going to write an check? IOU? That's no good. Oh, oh my God. God. Check. What is that, a check? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good about... Wow. Look Stop at this. this one one. I don't want it. <laughs> Wait, you're going to get paid right now. I don't Jack want Roy. it, man. I don't want it. You're making it out to who? Jack Roy? No, he goes by Rodney Dangerfield now. Go ahead. Oh, wait, you're going to get paid. This is I, don't, I don't want No, 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 this is good. no, no, no. This is good. Don't be modest here. He should pay his debts, He should pay his debts. He owes you a grand, let him pay it. There it is. I said to him, he borrows a thousand, you pay back the thousand. He's always uh, on the uh, horn screaming, Welcher, Welcher. <laughs> well, this is very nice, <laughs> very nice, but I'm afraid I'm just leaving it here. You are going to leave oh, it here. Oh, Rodney. That's, all. That's right. The autograph will be worth money someday. Well, anyway, the point is Rodney's here not to argue with Jackie. He's here to promote the his movie. The other thing is that, that great line of uh, Jackie's, why don't they know me? <laughs> That's great. That's oh, great. Oh. That's so Jackie. <laughs> It's so not true. Oh, please. I believe that 100%. 150%. I'm telling you. I it's unbelievable. It. Yeah. Am I done again? I guess so. I don't know. Unless you want to say something. Stay for the news. <laughs> yeah. All I know is every man has his tale of woe. Unfortunately in life, there's more woe than tale. It's so true and well said. Uh, thank you very much. The great much. Rodney Dangerfield. Take off those headphones, Rodney, because you'll go insane if you don't. Okay. So long, Joe. All right, take care. Watch your, watch your head on that goddamn camera over there. That's the E-network there. Very I true. know. It's a booby-trapped room. Take care, Rodney. That was beautiful. And there goes Rodney. <laughs> Bye, Jackie. Take the check, Rodney. <laughs> Thanks, Rodney. Take the check. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll do the news for you right after these words. We'll be back with the Howard Stern Show. Don't go away.